chair recognizes the gentleman from Black Hawk, Representative Smith. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, um, like I've stated on multiple occasions, I support the Second Amendment. Um, and I'm a gun owner myself. My concerns with this legislation is, is with Division 10, the Stand Your Ground portion. Um, Representative Winchill, earlier it, sound, it sounded like you rather attend a funeral than a hearing. Um, I firmly believe that Iowa's current self-defense law has proven to be effective. I believe that the language in Division 10 is irresponsible and not reasonable, especially since we're talking about the right and responsibility to take another person's life. It's been stated uh, that this bill is crafted in a way that applies to all Iowans equally. And while I agree that we are all created equal, I do not agree that all Iowans are treated equally or protected equally. For example, as a young man, while playing football in, in Representative Fisher in your district and Representative Salmon with your sons on that football field in Garwin, Iowa, Garwin, Iowa I didn't feel like I was treated equally. I was called racial slurs more than 10 times, spit in my face, and told if I could kill you and get away with it, I would do that. I don't believe that's being treated equally. I wasn't treated like your sons were treated on that football field. The idea that you can be wrong in your estimation of a threat, but as long as you have good reason, is terrifying for some of us, but only a few of us in this chamber or in this body. And that's, natural, that's because of our natural burden. The assumption or perception that I'm a threat based on the color of my skin. I firmly believe that I will be outcasted if I treated every white male that I interact with as a threat, which could be reasonable based on my prior experiences. Unfortunately, data shows by the Urban Institute in a report done by the American Bar Institution, this indicated that racial disparities exist in the application of stand your ground laws such that a white shooter who kills a black vis victim is 350% more likely to be found justified than if that same shooter killed a white person. The impact of this legislation on people who look like me but may not dress like I do when I'm here Monday through Thursday will be an increased risk to the mean killed. As recent as April 2016, there were cross burnings in Dubuque. I wonder if those who set that cross ablaze may see stand your ground as a get out of jail free card based on their reason. If this legislation passes, I encourage minorities who dress like I do when I'm not here because this is what Representative Smith looks like when he's not in a suit and tie. With his tattoos on and his earrings, this is what I look like. So this is that threat that you can perceive every day. So maybe I should teach those young men to practice the mantra of hands up, don't shoot. Thank you. Chair recognizes